Tech Trends is an original podcast series that dives into topics like quantum computing, 5G, and design thinking. Our conversations touch on how tech can transform the way businesses deliver for their customers, clients, and communities. For more information, visit jpmorgan.com slash technology. This is MIT Technology Review. Hi there, I'm Jennifer Strong, host of In Machines We Trust. Defining what is or isn't artificial intelligence can be a little tough, so much so that even the experts get it wrong sometimes. That's why Tech Review's senior AI editor, Karen Howe, created a flowchart to explain it. And together, we turned it into this next episode. It's silly, it's fun, and we hope it helps. I also want to tell you about something really special we've been working on for more than a year. It's called The Extortion Economy. It's a short podcast series about the ransomware epidemic produced in collaboration with ProPublica. And it's available now wherever you like to listen. Hmm. Let's go. In Machines We Trust. I'm listening. A podcast about the automation of everything. You have reached your destination. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to This Is AI. Players will ask questions that get to the bottom of what is or isn't AI. And I've brought along an assistant to help out with the answers. Hi there. Hi, Alexa. Just so we're all on the same page, artificial intelligence in its broader sense refers to machines that can learn, reason, and act for themselves. They can make their own decisions when faced with new situations, much like humans and animals do. Now this bell means you've correctly identified AI. Well done. And this buzzer? Not so much. Okay, so let's test your knowledge. Ready, set, player one. Go! Can it see? Yes. Can it identify what it sees? No. Okay, so that's just a camera. Okay, but what if it can identify what it sees? Yes, that's computer vision and image processing. Player two. Can it hear? Yes. Does it respond in a useful, sensible way to what it hears? Yes. Yes! So that's NLP. Natural language processing. The goal of that kind of AI is to help computers make sense of human languages in a way that's useful. But what if it doesn't respond in a useful, sensible way to what it hears? Could that also be AI? If it's transcribing what you say. Yes, that's also AI. It's speech recognition, which is similar, but working from the spoken word instead of text. Great. New round of questions. Player one. Can it read? Yes. Is it reading what you type? No. Is it reading passages of text? Yes. Is it analyzing the text for patterns? Yes. Yes, once again, that's NLP, natural language processing. Well done. I'll take the same question. Can it read? Yes. Is it reading what you type? Yes. Does it respond in a useful, sensible way? Yes. That's also NLP. Natural language processing. New question, please. Player one. Can it reason? Yes. Is it looking for patterns in massive amounts of data? Yes. Is it using these patterns to make decisions? Well, if not, that sounds like math. But if it is using patterns to make decisions? Yes. Then that's machine learning, which is when a machine learns through experience. Okay. Final round. Hmm. Can it move? Yes. By itself, without help? Yes. Does it move based on what it sees and hears? Yes. Are you sure it's not just moving along a pre-programmed path? Hmm, I'm not sure. (laughs) Very funny, but if so, that's just a bot. Okay, let me try that again. Is it moving along a pre-programmed path? No. Okay, so that's a smart robot, meaning it's using AI to make some of its own decisions. Great. You've completed the game. Thanks for playing. 
We'll be right back after this. Tech Trends is an original podcast series that dives into topics like quantum computing, 5G, and design thinking. Our conversations touch on how tech can transform the way businesses deliver for their customers, clients, and communities. The real power of design thinking from a business perspective is really getting to know your clients, understanding what their needs are, and finding the right problem to solve for your clients. Employees really like to give back in their day job, and this isn't just the most junior employees or your millennial generation, it's everybody. For more information, visit jpmorgan.com slash technology. Many thanks to the talented voices in this episode, including our producer, Emma Silikens, with Eric Mongin and Kyle Thomas Hemingway. The editors are Michael Riley and Neil Firth. Thanks for listening. I'm Jennifer Strong. This is MIT Technology Review.